Pandemic has created extra pressure with added work hours, overnight shifts, and stressful situations. It's also causing sleep problems for a lot of people. Atlanta Bureau Chief Archith Zashadri reports. A good night's sleep benefits the body and the brain. Dreams are your brain's way of really processing your memory and your feelings. And so if you are more tense, then that's going to affect the tone of your, of your sleep uh, and, your, and your dreams. But our new normal is filled with unemployment concerns and the risk of catching COVID-19. Our sleep patterns have changed a lot in the last two months. Uh, some people will come in and talk to me about how they're actually sleeping more. Right? So when you're commuting from home and you don't have to get up and get ready as much, uh, people are allowing themselves to sleep in. Doctors say to help you sleep better, avoid meals three hours before bedtime and cut your screen time an hour before you sleep. So peace of mind means really limiting the content, the stressful content that you might be looking at just before you go to sleep. Instead, use that time to find ways to unwind, uh, quiet, restful ways to unwind. That can mean journaling for someone. Uh, for someone else, it might mean that they play certain kind of music. And for others, it means turning off the overhead lights and putting on lamps and, um, you know, reading a good book. The CDC recommends to keep your room dark, cool, and quiet. Also, try to meditate, reduce news consumption, and take a break from social media, especially if you're feeling anxious. You also have more REM sleep. REM sleep is your rapid eye movement stage of sleep. REM sleep is where we have recall that is more clear and more vivid for dreams. And one big piece of advice about this, don't anticipate having a nightmare. Uh, I think sometimes when people are trying to get restful sleep, the anticipation of having bad sleep is what's keeping them from having good sleep. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, WJBF News Channel 6.